So I'm on the GoPro and the distortion is kind of creepy. <laughs> so for this short video, you don't get to see my smiling dial. Here it is. <laughs> to the unboxing. So yes, my waterproof phone is not overly waterproof. So unfortunately I've got condensation in the lens. So if I film something with this phone, everything is hazy, a lot more hazy than normal. So we are on the GoPro in this one little box. We have two very, very common fish that are super common around the world. Very colorful tropical fish and something not so common, I don't think. No, they're all common. Of course they are. <laughs> Welcome back to another Paul's Aquariums unboxing. We have some really cool fish. They are albino neon tetras. I'm sure you've seen the normal neon tetras before. The albino version just gets rid of the brown and black pigmentation in animals and fish and all sorts of stuff like that. So an albino neon tetra has just got like a really nice lighter body, still has the blue, still has the red, but they're brighter again because there's no dark pigmentation in the actual fish. Very, very nice fish. They are exactly the same to keep as a normal Neon Tetra. They are South American. They want the water between about six and seven, ideally about 6.5 to 6.8. Soft water, which means not high mineral content, and they will do really, really well. They're a schooling fish like most other Tetras, so you want a school of at least sort of six, if not 10 of them. Very, very lovely fish. But those are the albino version. We also have the normal neon version, the normal version. See how they instantly look brown in the bag compared to the other ones, which are a lovely golden color. These guys, once they settle in, are fluorescent in color as well. They go the bright red tail, the lovely white belly, and the bluey green stripe. Super common aquarium fish. As I said, South American, you want a group of them. So everything I said about the albinos is true to these ones as well. I actually did just breed Neon Tetras. If you want to see a video on that, that'll be up in the next couple of weeks. Look at that. That is a baby one day old Neon Tetra. That is my thumb or my finger. That's my thumb. That's my finger. That's how small they are. Very, very cool fish. Not that easy to breed, not that easy to grow up because they are so small. But in the video, I'll explain water quality how to do it, how to get them to spawn and all that as well. So you can have your own Neon Tetris. And we have some lovely fish from India. These are Dwarf Garamis, lovely striped version. These are not the wild version, even though they do have the blue and red stripes. These are just a slightly line bred brighter version of the ones in the wild. These are all boys. The girls are a silvery brown color. We do get girls from time to time. These guys, have the same sort of water quality as the Neon Tetras, even though they come from India. So you want the water a low pH, so below seven, anything from six to seven is fine for these guys. And they are super peaceful. So you can keep them with the Neon Tetras, even though they're from the other side of the world. Like it nice and warm, they are a labyrinth fish, which means they've got like a lung type organ as well as gills so they can actually breathe with no oxygen in the water they'll actually go to the surface gasp air and go back in you can keep them without air as long as the water is warm because we live in the subtropics you still have to heat it if they're anything from 26 degrees to about 31 degrees they will love it that is the blue version of the normal dwarf karamis. These are line bred, so the little blue stripes have just been getting bigger and bigger over the ages until they have a solid blue fish. Everything about these is exactly the same as the normal stripey ones. They are the same fish, just a different color. Again, from India, same sort of fish. Something from South America again, guppies. They are super cool. These are all different line bred colors. These are boys. We did get a lot of girls in this week as well, as well as some really cool ones I've been breeding at home. So I'll show you those in a second. But we have those guppies. We have these guppies. Don't even ask me what type they are, but they are pretty impressive looking guppies. There seems to be a female in that bag as well. But guppies will survive slightly more alkaline. So they want their pH around that 7 to 7374. 7, Different part of South America than the Tetras and that. They are a live bearer, which means they have live young where the neons scatter their eggs around. And as I said, if you want to see a video on breeding neons, that'll be up 
in the next couple of weeks or so. If you're watching this in a couple of weeks, it's probably already there. Who knows? <laughs> now we're going to jump to a few fish in the shop. Okay, we also got some really nice female guppies. There they are on the top of the screen. Super lovely. They will perfectly pair up with the boys that just turned up as well. We also got some really nice dwarf blue panda guppies. They are a line bred version of a normal guppy. They just stay a lot smaller, but they are a striking, striking blue color. I've also got some local guppies from a couple of different people. Really nice black and blues, as well as some local guppies that I've bred myself. Yay! Yes, I breed guppies. I breed everything. <laughs> it seems like I breed everything. So tons and tons of guppies in this week as well. Oh, we also got some really, really nice local bred platties. So some black platties, some red wagtail platties, and some sunset platties. And we even got some nice sword tails in. If you enjoyed this super, super quick video without my ugly mug in it, click the thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, click the thumbs up. That would be wonderful. We will see you in the next video. Thanks heaps for watching. Ja,